Hey guys, I'm Jonas on occasion, and today, Operation Tiger Trap. Actually, it's just Tiger Trap. Usually it says Operation, then the thing, doesn't it? Well, this time it just says Tiger Trap. Um, it's a stealth mission, so that means there's going to be no, um, like, ambush thing. You know, if we if we keep cool and stab everyone, we'll be great. Um, so, French factory is upgrading German panzers. London has asked us to steal the tank schematics. They need to know about the upgrades being fitted before D-Day. So, um, kill enemies up being detected. I, I, it won't say how many. Extract quickly means we've probably got a time limit this time, which is very interesting. Because we haven't had a time limit before, have we? So, let's give it a go. Upgrading tiger tanks. Let's snaffle the schematics before the natives turn hostile. You're gonna have to. This is a stealth mission. You can perform an unlimited number of stealth kills, but be, uh, but beware. If you're detected, you cannot return to stealth. Uh, okay, so we need to kill eight enemies um, before we can allow ourselves to be spotted. I don't know if stabbing him straight away is worthwhile. Oh god, who was it? Was it... It was the Tommy Gun guy, wasn't it? That had the, um... The ability to move again. After stabbing someone. He would have been perfect on this mission. He would have been absolutely perfect. Uh, so noise and target kill. Doesn't say they'd spot us, though. Uh, let's... No, I don't want to smash the window. I just want to walk here. Ooh, okay, there's a couple of enemies there. And one over here. But he's just looking that way? He's not looking this way. I don't know if the noise of killing him would... would mess things up. But I am very tempted just to stab him and see what happens. We can always restart the mission. And I know what I said about, like, save scumming and whatnot, but I feel like this game is, um... You complete a mission, get everything right, and it says, do you want to do it again? So, you know, it's not really... that sort of XCOM style thing, exactly, is it? Okay, let's, um... Yeah, I really want to get over here. Also, we had the mission to get out quickly. Is it once we take the schematics um, it'll then panic us about evac? Is that is that the plan? I'm not sure. Um, I should probably spread out a bit. I mean, these two can probably handle this stuff, right? I probably shouldn't have moved him right into the corner, but I want to get eyes on as much as possible. You know what, I'm going to move that way. So yeah, I wonder about um, the objective to sort of escape quickly. I imagine that'll kick in once we, um, once we do the objectives, but I don't know for certain. He's going to be quite difficult to stab in the back. We'll have to, like, hide here, probably? Although I guess we could just kill him. And then hit, right? Okay, he's just going to sit tight. So he's going to move that way, and then we can kill him. So that is absolutely fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter that he's looking this way. Alright, another guy over there. Not a problem. Um, I can hide here. I don't think I'll be able to hide there. Oh, okay. He's moving around like this. Is he moving around like that? Or is he going to come down here? I'm not sure. But, if he's moving that way, we can probably move here. Ooh, actually no, because he'll be facing that way and he'll turn and we'll be caught out. So actually I can't do that. But I can jump down here, potentially. I can move across. Huh. Let's try that. I didn't realise we could get into this bit of the map. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. Uh, and yeah, I should probably move this way with someone else. We can move here. Without anyone seeing us. Which is pretty awesome. It means he can kill him. 
and then we might be able to follow him across. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Just ignore me. Uh, okay. We may be able to, like, shimmy across here and then stab him. Because we have been able to move into a square that they can see. Um, and get the stealth kill. And if we can't, I'm a little worried about um, our guy with the Bren. Yeah, we might be able to chase him down. But he'll probably here. We might need to kill both those two together. Although he's moving away. So, not entirely sure. Um, I move here. So we're closer to that guy. Okay. Uh, that's only two kills. Why do I feel like we've killed more? That will leave me detected. Okay, so I can't do that. It doesn't say I'm going to get detected if I'm there. Can I, like, move here? Will he be able to see me if I'm behind that? I could jump over to here, and then I can jump back and stab him, I think. Hopefully this is okay. Because I think that is blocking the way. Ooh, there's another guy over there, too. Yes. Oh, we found a sapper. Cannot be stealth killed. Unlimited grenades explode on death and resilient to explosive damage. Well, that's all horrible. Okay, well, let me actually see him. Oh, we can't see him. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, he'll be a problem. So we need to kill him after we kill the other eight. You want me? I can reach this guy. I can reach him. But there might be something up there. So... If I move to here first, that is cover, right? Yeah. Move here first, might be able to see if there's anyone over there. Yep. Sure is. And he can see there. So, we do need to absolutely kill him. Move up here and, and kill our way across. Which is a little scary, actually. We, we'll need to move him back, or else he'll eventually patrol around. Okay, you need to sit tight. Uh, yep, stay behind there so he can't see. We need to kill him. And then move up to here, probably, to move across. Then we can kill him when we're moving the second person in. I reckon. Yeah, that'll have to do. I, I really enjoy the sort of puzzle of this. You know, the sort of stealth... ...combat like this. It's fun. He's technically not in that guy's vision, so we could we could see about stabbing that guy. It might not work, but it might. Yeah, that guy's still patrolling around. We can kill him pretty easily now, I think, but there might be someone out there watching as well. So we will need to move to the very corner, like right next to him, to peek across. Which, um, is fine. You know, happily. Happily do that. No, I won't, apparently. We can't quite reach. In that case, let's move over here. So I can hopefully get good eyes. Don't have good eyes. Alright, well I can move him across. There's a guy there. I don't know if this will alert anyone. Okay, I'm pretty apparently that went well. Okay, good. That's not going to alert anyone. Hilarious. Marvelous. Okay, now this guy. If we move him up here, I can stab him pretty easily. Um, oh, I can't reach him to attack, apparently. That's strange. It really seems like I'd be able to reach him. Huh. Oh, it costs three to attack. Of course it does. Uh, if I move there, I don't think he'll see me. I'm a little worried about these guys. But if they're just patrolling around, I can probably stab him and be stood there and they won't be able to see me. Probably. Alright. 
That's done. I can also just have him stab that guy. Enemy spotted. There's some of the plans. Yep, I see him too, mate. I see him too. Okay, good. He's coming down this way. Depending on how close he comes, <laughs> I think we can sneak in and stab him. I think we can stab him. I'm not sure there's anyone up there. But there is someone up there that we can't see right now. Do you want to stab that guy or this guy? I mean, I can hide behind here. I mean, hopefully this guy won't see. I think this will be okay. It said stealth takedown, so I think we're okay. I, I would love to kill this guy. I really need to know if there's someone up there before I do. And obviously I can't do anything with him right now. So we have to sit tight and he'll have to move in and we can kill him afterwards. Um, yeah, I really just, I need to know if someone's up there. But then I guess I could <laughs> move this way a bit. Alright, it seems like we're okay. I know this is pretty ballsy. Okay, we got another one. We got another one. Okay. Now this guy needs to move up. Actually, he doesn't need to move up. I think I want to move him over here. So I can get that guy next turn. Although, I uh, think I want to get him while he's here. Will he be able to reach this guy next turn? Oh, he turns, actually. But he'll be facing this way. So, if I'm here, I might be able to run in that way and stab him. Then he might turn around and see me. Hmm. Screw it. I'm going to move here. We'll be fine. Probably. And you just have to sit tight. Yeah, we can kill him easily enough. We'll have that guy move across. And kill the other one. Overlooking the place. No, behind cover, so we're fine there. Obviously the sapper we need to be careful about. So I think we can probably run across that way. And be behind the tank. Oh, he actually goes all the way down there. That's interesting. I don't want to get behind that then. Ideally. Ooh, I can't be behind the tank. I'll be detected if I attack him. I'll have to wait for him to come closer. Uh, oh, and you can't move either, because they can actually see from there. Oh, that's a pain. Um, I'm pretty sure I can move to here, like that guy did, and I can stab him when he comes back this way. Okay. I want to climb up here, maybe. Let's see, when you've got the carbine, so him being up there is not a bad idea, right? Maybe. Yeah, that feels right. I'll try and get him up there. Okay, now this guy has to sit and wait. Probably a couple of turns before I can get a stab on that guy. Uh, might be able to move there, but I'm a bit worried about what these guys are up to. So I think I need to sit tight. Which is a bit of a pain. Um, I wonder if this guy's up here, I might be able to move the whole way across. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, the patrols are put in such a way that you do have to time things right, which I, I do rather enjoy. Do 
Okay, so we'll need to kill him. Okay, so I can't reach, but I can get closer at least. I can get to here and then wait another couple of turns for him to go down and then back up. Ooh. We okay? We're okay. That's a heavy. Yeah, that's a heavy. He's got the schnell. Okay, let's do... Yeah, that one. I don't think we need to be... Um, too careful about where we stand. We're quite far away from anyone. Alright. Please do. Can we go out here? I don't think so. That's the edge of the map. Okay. Alright, so we want to get that. We want to get that. And we want to get that. So those are the three objectives. We need to get one more kill in stealth, which will probably be that guy. He'll turn around just as he moves up, so we should be able to... Yeah, because judging where he is, as long as we're under here, he won't be able to see us when he turns back around. And then he can get the kill, hopefully. Hopefully. I don't know if we just leave that guy alive. Could we want to just grab the documents and run? And just leave him there? We'll have to wait and see. Although I don't know how well we can stealth kill a heavy. I assume they still die in the same way as they normally would. Alright, so he's going to turn around. This guy's still patrolling up and down, which concerns me. Uh, <laughs> you can't reach. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, so they can see through there. They're facing the right way. God, I might have to move you up here now. And wait for him to push this way. Maybe. I'm glad that the timer isn't running yet. Or it is in the background, I just have no idea. You know, I'm just an idiot. Uh, so I can move right to here. Which actually sounds like a good idea. Yeah, there's another guy over here. Come on. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll move there. So remember, once we get eight kills, we can shoot anyone we want. Although I do want to stealth kill that guy, ideally. That would be useful. Alright, I think that's it, right? Oh, he's not moved yet. Well, I can't stab him. I can't stab him. But, I can move into position... down... No, I can't actually move under the stairs, apparently. Nope, can't move under the stairs. Uh, I can move behind here. Or can I? Can that guy see? I don't know what, I don't know what direction that guy's looking in. So actually, I can't really afford to move yet. Unless I just move to here. Okay, he's facing the other way. So yeah, I could have indeed moved to there. That's okay, I can... I can. That guy will probably see me if I'm stood there, won't he? Because yeah, that's not going to block line of sight. Uh, he's not going to see me if I'm there, though, is he? God, I hope not. Okay, I'm really not sure. I think, um... I think I'm just going to pull back to here for now. Because again, no time limit. So, you know, the enemy aren't going to find us. Alright, so they're moving along. God, this guy. <laughs> He's supposed to go around so many times with just like a bunch of people just crowded around him with knives. And he has no idea. Alright, we can kill him easily enough. Yes, I hope so. Uh, so if I stand there, I'm not going to get seen by anyone, am I? God, if that guy... Oh no, because it's another guy that's over there. He'll be end over there, I think. So I think we're fine. Objective complete. 
We got our stealth. And he can get this kill, right? Maybe? A little worried about that guy? No, he's going to move back. The other guy's going to move forward. And I don't think we'll see us through this. Though I can't guarantee it. But screw it. I want this guy dead. I can't be bothered to wait for him to walk down here. And I know, I literally was just saying, there's no rush. But actually, I do want to make some forward momentum anyway, you know. Also, he can't jump down. He can't jump down. XCOM style. There's a little bunker down there as well. Um, alright, so... I mean, there's no one over here, so I should be able to just, like, move around and down. I could have just walked forwards with him. I, mean, I already thought getting the high ground there would have benefited us, but... Nope. Not even slightly. Um, right, let's move to here, then. Or to there, maybe. Alright, he's going to move over here in a second. That guy's already looking kind of towards us. But if I come behind him and then move across, I can probably get him. And him when he's looking over there, maybe. Like, I don't know. We can we can line up some interesting, interesting positions, I think. But failing that, it seems there's only four guys left. There might be more in the back. And reinforcements can happen, of course. Okay, good. <laughs> he's just going to swivel. Okay, another guy over here. So there's a couple guys over here. Okay. So it seems I can't get seen here, right? He is going to move closer to me, though. So I should move into cover. He'll hopefully move forwards. And hopefully that guy won't be looking and I can kill him. You know, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Uh, saying that, I could just kill him. That'll make me detected. You can't get the kill. You can't stealth kill him one hit. Okay. Can't stealth kill in one attack. So as soon as I attack him, these guys are going to wake up too. I'm not sure. That's what I want to do yet. Also makes me think, will we get an ambush turn? If we break it. Probably not, right? Probably not. So we've got to watch out for the heavies, basically, and this guy. Okay. Uh, if I throw a satchel charge, it doesn't say... <laughs> it doesn't say that that would end the turn. So, how much damage does Satchel Charge do? Uh, it doesn't say. Why don't you say? I feel like it should say the damage. But yeah, I might be able to throw a Satchel Charge and then he'll walk back into it and explode. Maybe? Not sure. Not sure. Um... I think I can move to here. Sort of happily, you know. He'll need to move. I'm almost tempted to stay up here, knowing that I can shoot basically anybody. I say that. I can't actually reach anyone from there. Never mind. Uh, might as well get down, then. Might as well get down. Although... You know, if I stay up here, actually, I can I can go either side. But that will let me get some really good shots of. Look at that, with a crit chance. Almost get the kill. Not quite, but almost. Okay. Come on, enemies. Do your thing. So yeah, throwing a satchel charge there for him to walk into, I think might be an interesting way to start the fight. I'll have to wait and see how that works. Uh, so he's looking that way now, but I still might be able to kill that guy. Um, okay, he's still looking in an annoying direction. And he's going to be looking even further that way in a second. 
but this might work. So that's the thing we need to grab. You know what? We might be able to stab him. Yep, we can. Uh, I don't know if that position... I don't know if there is going to get seen by this guy. Or if that's going to provide enough cover. Ooh. Let's risk it for a biscuit, shall we? It's probably a terrible idea. Probably just a shocking idea. But I can't wait to find out. Alright, so we've still got this guy as well. He's going to turn around. Um, if we move here, get a good shot off with the trench gun and him, we can probably kill him really easy. If he gets spotted and that kicks off the turn, then we'll wish we opened fire with these two on that guy before all this kicks off. But then he'll be completely stuck with everyone knowing he's there. Well, it's risky. It's definitely risky. In enemy spotted, yes, but... Good, we're safe. We're safe. That's hilarious. Alright, and that guy we can stab. Maybe? Yeah, I think... Not quite. Not quite. We're gonna get spotted. Which is a bit annoying. Um... So, I have a sticky bomb that will barely suppress him. Wow. Oh, because, yeah, because it's an explosive and he doesn't seem to care about explosives. Uh, so, satchel charge wouldn't yes. do much either. Uh, can't I can run all the way over to there. It's not going to do me much good, is it? Alright, so if I... I think I just need to shoot him, don't I? Let's be honest. I think I just shoot him. I think I just shoot him. So let's see. Alright, we've got an objective there, there, and there. I mean, he could grab that, like, any time. Alright, we're doing it. Near miss? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That sucks. We had such good odds. Alright, let's get him, yeah? Damn, we didn't get the crit. Yep. Oh god, please kill him. Good. Good, good, good. Oh! Oh crap, that was a... Um... I thought that was a heavy, it's not one of these guys. Didn't realise that. He just took a bunch of damage. That sucks. Well, that's annoying. Oh, what a pain. Alright, well, we can machine gun this guy. A bunch. That will certainly, certainly upset him. Um, there's also him over there, but no, I think we just start shooting this guy. We have suppressed him. And I imagine it's going to be... Nope, not that expensive to throw a grenade, apparently. It's going so well, until this guy decided that he didn't know how to shoot a gun. Like, honestly, like 89%, wasn't it? Something like that? Horrible. I don't even know what we're shooting it in. I have no idea who was even shooting. Alright, let's move to... here. Um... And yeah, I'll move here and shoot him. Yeah, okay. Insufficient AP. I was thinking he had a shotgun for some reason. Well, that's a pain. Alright, let's throw a grenade. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Um, that will stop him getting a turn. Good enough for me. It was a granate. Um, 
I guess I should grab that. Yes. Uh, and then shoot him. Nice. And now you can shoot him again. Near miss, but he's pressed. Good. Okay. Let's have you grab that. Good. So it's not saying about leaving quickly, so I, I, I think the timer might always be running. And um, we've just not been privy to it. I think that might be how it's gone. So, okay, I need to grab that still. That leave me with five? I think I want to shoot this guy first. Because I mean, as long as I keep shooting, he'll never be able to move. Uh, so that's going to cost me four out of twelve. We're fine. Oh, we got the grip. Excellent. Excellent news. Now he's fortified. Good. Let's run you down here. And he can grab that and start running next turn. Okay, reinforcements are on the way. That's not... That's not a problem. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, um... We'll get this guy up here. He's low on ammo. You know what, maybe we reload and run, and then we can run a gun next turn. I think that's probably safer. And it'd be nice to get an overwatch with a shotgun on these guys, but... Okay, so we should grab that. Yep. And... I, I think we need to reload. Although, actually, just running as far forward as possible, I might want to, I could have maybe just run into that without, um, without them even getting a turn. But, um, can't really guarantee it. Alright, I hope that'll surprise him a bit. And he needs three to overwatch. Uh, how many does he have? Eleven. Okay. <laughs> he might end up suppressing him. Actually, I don't think he does. I don't think he can ever risk that. Military police. Interesting. Uh, the Feld Gendarmerie. Anti-partisan veteran. Shots can inflict disoriented. Wow, there's a lot of them. <laughs> You're right there, mate. Oh, okay. It interrupted him talking to introduce someone else. Can't be self killed. Heals enemy morale. Can be revived. Okay. Suddenly an uh. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, it's attacking him, right? I think we want to attack someone a bit um, further along, right? Healthy place to be. What? No. What? Oh, okay. Thank God. Yeah, that'll do. I think that hits all of their thing. And we've got a crit. Nice. Uh. Ooh, is he the only one he can see? Oh, now I'll just shoot him. It's fine. Alright, morale's pretty bad. That's good. Okay, yeah, we got this. We got this. So. Let's move here. And then fire. Nice. And for you, let's use that one. I mean, that's pretty good. Shush. Oh, how about you? Can you get a nice shot? So you need... God, you need six. That's going to be right past him. Though he can move. He can move. Alright, he's got a little more health. Okay, so we need... We need six. I can have him try and shoot that guy. Not great odds to hit. Though, I can throw a grenade. I can throw a grenade. So let's do that. 
Nice. And then you can just shoot him. There we go. Okay, we got him. So he can be resurrected, interestingly. So do we have to shoot him again? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, so I mean, this is this is a war crime. Okay, let's move along. Let's move you along. It says extract quickly as an objective. Oh, we've got six turns, do we? That's that's how long we've got. Okay. Sure. That doesn't seem that quick, actually. Doesn't seem that quick at all. Yeah, another five turns. Wow. I guess because we were mostly through the mission. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's when the gendarmerie arrived. Uh, so we got a uh, plus one health with dog face jacket. And we have a Webley that has disrupted. Oh, look, sidearm. They all disrupt, don't they? I think just maybe does more morale damage, more damage or something. Not sure. Maybe it has more ammo? Who knows? But, uh, yeah, nailed it. Got all the things. Okay, fellas. Another skill point, another two skill points, another skill point, another skill point. King is crushing it. He is leveling up so quickly. Though, a um, lot of fatigue on these guys. They need to all recover. Continue. That was the first encounter with the Fel Gendarmerie. They are the Wehrmacht's front line against the resistance. To become a military policeman, you need a certain kind of hombre. They recruited veterans, hard men, with a streak of cruelty a mile wide. They'd cut their teeth fighting risky partisans out east. We were now in their sights, being hunted. Wherever the Fel Gendarmerie were, our fights would be that bit tougher, that bit nastier. All right, Tiger Trap completed. London is pleased as punch that we've got these blueprints. They'll be looking for any weak spot for our tankers to exploit when they get ashore. Tally ho. Um, right, uh, that's that's what that's what they say when they're done on the radio. They say tally ho. That's yeah. Instead of over, instead of over, they go tally ho. And um, instead of over and out, they go tally ho. Spiffing what? And then they they put the radio down. That's um, that's that's how the military works. You're welcome. Uh, okay, We've got some strength, supplies, etc. Criminals like us, of course they do. <laughs> oh, I I don't know what they were saying. It disappeared so quickly. I think I think there's a particular uh, Fel Gendarmerie who's trying to hunt us down or something. I think it's let's see. Like there's one. Maybe, maybe he's a, a piece that's going to be moving around. Perhaps. So we can get resistant strength up, maybe. Or we can get another... Another step for Quartermaster. If we get all three of these, then we'll get better organization of equipment caches, improving our ability to scavenge and transport gear from the front lines. Whatever the hell that means. That sounds quite good, doesn't it? Um, those are only two options. It's either it's either high command. This region has a well organized resistance headquarters whose logistical know how will be invaluable. I'm sure they will be. But yeah, I think we'll do this one first. You know, we'll try and we'll try and finish one before doing the next. Right, that's gone up a bit more. Good news. All right, we have a mission in Picardy. Oh, oh wow. They're retaliating. What does that mean? This force of increased local something. These these are too quick. Why can't I just click OK? To skip along. Like, that's odd. Okay, fine. Anyway. Uh, Operation Bolero. American troops squeeze into tent cities in southern England. Uh, preparatory for the coming invasion. In addition, millions of tons of supplies pile up in depots across the country, ready to be shipped to ports for loading. Some transport ships from America sit in harbour, waiting the day they'll be ordered directly to the invasion beaches. Exciting stuff. 
Military police, the Fel, uh, the Fel Gendarmery, are hunting you. Their presence in a region increases the enemy level and day cost of missions there. They can also launch reprisals against strong regions. Interesting. That's quite cool. So, um, yeah, just them being around there is incentive to go do a mission elsewhere. Um, apparently it's going to be brutal, the difficulty, because it's two skulls out of three now. Uh, a truck full of weapons is broken down, and the Bosches are closing in. Protect the vehicle and its supplies until we can make an escape. Uh, or there's this one. Um, is an assault mission, so we're starting combat, standard difficulty. Local uh, Marquis Saad captured a defensive position, but the Germans are trying to take it back before we can loot the site. We must hold our ground. And this one... The Germans are transporting supplies in preparation for the invasion. However, there's a choke point at the bridge. If we destroy it, we disrupt a key supply route. I mean, that sounds good. Um, do any of these... These just give us hats and things. We could really do with more resistance members. Like, we really could. So, is America a good place for me to live? It took in Irish trash like my grandpa. I guess it could work for you too, Goumier. What I know of America comes from the cinema. How true are those films? Sure, America's just like the movies. There's an Ingrid Bergman on every street corner, a Bogart in every phone booth. And Godzilla. You do not look like Henry Fonda. Oh, you have me there, Goumier. No, you'll get on just fine in the States. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, anyone else want to chat? Nah, no one else is feeling chatty. Um, so we've got a bunch of people. Enemy level. Days until D-Day. Lots of, lots of, you know, fun things. Very little context about what, I mean, what's enemy level? I don't know. Um, presumably the level of the enemy. But, uh, yeah, don't know. So, loadout. I mean, we did get something new, didn't we? New secondary. Yeah, we got the Webley, didn't we? We got the Webley. So, damage average. Does anyone have a Webley? Right, one guy with a wealth of PP compact. But we basically have everyone with the same gun. But uh, that does a hell of a lot more damage than the other guns. Maybe we should give him the Webley. So, I, I don't know. I kind of like the high morale damage that everybody's got. I think I'm happy with how everyone is. Uh, let's customize skills. So for you, more hip fire accuracy. Do you hip fire? I guess. Oh, you can taunt, can't he? That puts up my maximum morale. That puts up morale recovery. We can recover health. Uh, if you break an enemy with your primary weapon, you have AP remaining. The AP is not spent and your turn continues. That's pretty amazing, actually. That's pretty huge. So every time we destroy their morale, we can just keep going. And that's even better. While a unit is afflicted with the stunned status, their AP is reduced to zero at the start of their turn. Subsequent shots inflict stun on all units in the spray zone. Wow, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Aimed fire is cheaper. You get more AP. More armor piercing. Yeah, there's some great stuff here. Um, let's do... Maybe morale recovery? You know, maximum morale, actually. Let's do that. Less chance that we sort of lose our turn, you know? Okay, how about you? Uh, crack shot plus 20% with your primary weapon. Effect chance determines the likelihood of it. Oh, so if, if you have a, a gun that has a chance of doing disoriented, for instance, it adds 20% it adds to that. To that figure. I quite like that. That's kind of nice. Uh, aimed fire accuracy up. So some guns have hip fire. Some guns have aimed accuracy, so I'm not really sure. Um, I think he's got aimed. But yeah, I like the idea of crack shot. Mad minute. Kill enemy with a primary weapon. You have AP remaining. AP is not spent. And your turn continues. I like that too. Rifle damage up. Okay, let's go with, you know, maximum morale for you too. Let's do that too. There we go. Um, so you have two skill points. 
Uh, AP plus three after killing an enemy with your primary weapon. Huge. Once per turn, sadly. And then we can put up shotgun damage or AP. So we can run further. More armor piercing is nice too. More accuracy against vulnerable targets. Oh, we're out of skill points. Oh, did that cost two? Because he had two, didn't he? Maybe. Some cost more. You know, looking at the bottom, I'm not seeing anything costing more. So maybe not. Oh, actually. I did just see a two somewhere. Yeah, that costs two. So yeah, some do cost two. You can see the cost down here. Uh, okay. Fusillade, if you kill an enemy with a primary weapon. Yep. We can't afford it. It costs two. Well, alright then. I'll sit on that AP then. Fine by me. So, um... Oh. Really? Another conversation? Nope. I think that was a conversation that we uh, we didn't get a pop-up for. Uh... Activate an asset by filling all three parts of a single region. We are working on that right now. Look at our tasks. Um, so we have two people who are tired. Which actually means we have four people to send on the next mission. So yeah, the conversation got rid of the fatigue. So if I... Aid faction. Uh, I could send King... That sounds good. And, um, does it say how long it takes to do any of these anywhere? Maybe not. Let's just say there. That'll do. Alright, I'll do it in a couple days. Good. Now, let's see. This one, Trench Works, is an assault mission. I think that's the one I want to do. Because the other two say that they're brutal. Although saying that, I have been kind of owning it, so maybe I should do the brutal one. That's an assault... That's an ambush, so we do get to do some stealth first, which I quite enjoy. Um, supplies in preparation for the invasion. There's a choke point on a bridge, so we destroy the bridge. That does sound like a lot of fun, actually. Yeah, I think we might do Operation Pal Mal. Hmm, a truck full of weapons broken down. You know, nab the supplies. Sounds kind of cool. It all seems really important. Um, these guys might show up in this area. They're going to make this more challenging. I think we're going to do this. Oh, hang on. It says enemy level plus one on it. Does that mean... Is that what this guy's doing? Is he making the enemy level for this area higher? Must be, right? All right, we're going to try it. It's going to be a more difficult mission. And I think that'll be fun. So we still got our machine gunner. Uh, Vital was actually really good. Um, the Tommy gun... He's very good in melee, so sadly assault isn't be as good, you know, you can't stealth kill a bunch of stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know, this looks good to me. God, Cassidy is really falling behind, I feel. I feel like we, we've we sent him on most of the missions, he's just not levelling up like everyone else. You know, vitel has been on one mission. That was the mission we found him, <laughs> and he's as high level as Cassidy. But oh well. So, a trunk full of weapons has broken down, and the Bosches are closing in. Protect the vehicle and its supplies until we can make an escape. Very fun. Um, so we are going to play this one. Um, I'm still finding excuses to play uh, more of this game, because I'm enjoying it. I, I want to play more, um, but the series, at the moment, is doing terribly. But the game's not actually out yet, as of me recording this episode. So, there still could be an influx of people that'll make it worth my while, you know? But, like, I'm enjoying it, and I think... Sometimes I just need to play a game on the channel because I'm enjoying it. And I know, you know, some of my regulars are getting a kick out of it. And, um, you know, it's a pain. But I am I am constantly checking the um, how long to complete. How long to beat? Is that the website? I oh, know there's a website that says how long it takes to complete games. I keep checking that to see if this has got any um, indication yet. To see how long a series is going to be. Because obviously if it's going to take 100 hours... I can't. I just can't. I can't. I'd, I'd be destitute. So, you know, it's a weird one. But I'm going to keep going for now. And um, I'm enjoying it too much, frankly. So, guys, if you're enjoying this too, please do comment, like, and subscribe. You know, share it with your friends. Hit the bell. You know, eat up every episode. Nom, nom, nom. I appreciate it. Thank you. See you in the next one. We should hold tight here till the heat's off. The Fuhrer's flying monkeys have other plans. Oh, so much for a warm welcome.